Tyler, first professional season, just maybe to begin, just kind of talk about a little bit of the ups and downs and some of the things that you've had to go through in your first year. Yeah, I mean, um, obviously coming in as a first year guy in the uh, pro hockey league, it's it's a lot of uh, touch and feel early on, but um, I, I was here a few, or, a few summers before, kind of getting a little taste of what Bakersfield and the pro hockey life is about. and. Um, now coming in, being able to play, um, kind of working into a steady role, it's, it's, been, it's been really fun and um, it's been a really positive uh, outcome so far and I'm just looking to keep forward and keep going forward. What do you think about the emotions that go into like a first, first professional year, um, just kind of navigating the roster and figure out where, what kind of game you're going to play at the professional level, just how do you think you've kind of had to, had to navigate the first year? Yeah, I mean, um, obviously what I was saying a little bit before coming in um, when I was 19, getting a little taste of what the pro hockey life was really about. And now um, coming in, trying to make a, make a name for myself, kind of make a player of, uh, of who I am. Um, my first year, I mean, looking at our lineup, we have a lot of great players, um, starting with the goaltender all the way up. And um, for myself, it was kind of just a lot of hard work, um, a lot of dedication and a lot of uh, um, it was a lot of ups and downs for sure at the beginning, but um, I think now I've kind of really put myself in a, a steady position and I just uh, look to keep going. Um, more team focus, of just what do you think of some of the adversity you've kind of had to go through with the Condors in the first year as you guys lead into, um, you know, getting closer to the, closer and closer to the playoffs and that battle for to make, a, make the playoffs kind of heats up? Yeah, I mean, I think right now, um, where we're at right now, we all like um, our, our gameplay, and I think overall, we've had a lot of ups and downs um, together as a team, but that's what a team is. We go through those ups and downs all together, and I think as of right now, in our path right now, I think we're, we're really making a push for that playoff spot, and I, I wouldn't count us out. In camp, you talked a lot about being uncomfortably comfortable, finding what that role is for you in the professional game, and just how do you think you've sort of formulated your, your role and discovered what kind of player you are at the professional level? Yeah, I mean, um, definitely coming in, yeah, I'm not the biggest guy, I'm not the strongest guy on the team, but um, I definitely think my work ethic is something that I've kind of had my whole career and my whole life and something my parents kind of brought upon me um, growing up and it's kind of never left my side and that's something I, I take a lot of pride in coming into the rink, workouts, practices, games. Um, it's For me, it's all about the effort you put in and. Um, the way you practice, the way you're going to play. So um, putting in 100% on and off the ice will uh, lead to a good good outcome. At Def Camp, you had a chance to get some early exposure to Colin Chalk and some of your teammates this year. Just how formative was that, that moment for you, just kind of getting the lay of the land in the organization, ultimately building up to your first professional year? Yeah, I mean, coming in, um, not really um, knowing many players, but I knew, knew a few from before. But um, obviously with a new coach and um, a lot of new faces, you kind of have to just feel your way around. Obviously, I'm a rookie, so I'm not a, not a guy who's going to speak out too much, but um, I'm going to kind of just make myself known, speak when spoken to, and um, kind of just build that path for myself. And I think the coaches and the players have really helped my game overall, and um, I hope to keep um, going in the right strides now. If you look at yourself and a lot of pl younger players on this team, Christmas was kind of that time where you look at your guys' individual games and you guys are really starting to heat up. Is that just a factor of kind of learning the professional game or how do you kind of, you know, break that season up in the two halves and how in the second half you just really began to push? Yeah, I mean, I kind of look at a season kind of month by month, day by day. Um, I don't look too far ahead, too far um, in the past. Um, obviously the first uh, half of the season, there was a lot of ups and downs with our team, but I think where, where, where it led us to now, it's, it's all positive and um, obviously after the Christmas break, we've kind of been picked, we've picked up our game a lot and I think that's something that happens with a lot of teams, you know, that maybe had a tougher, tougher start to the season, but I think we know it's, um, what's up for grabs right now and I think we're going to really push for that, that playoff spot and um, once again, I wouldn't count us out. In terms of yourself individually, you got a nice little six-game point streak going. Definitely the best stretch of your professional career so far. Just what have been some of the, the factors that have kind of allowed you to get this role going? I think for myself, um, you know, talking to the coaches um, a lot, trying to just find my role, um, find my play, and find my style in this league. And I think for myself on the ice, just getting to the dirty areas, making little plays, shooting the puck, um, getting into open ice. That's kind of really. Um, put myself in a position to succeed. Also, 
with my line mates and my team. I mean, they they put uh, they put a lot of work in to help my success, but I, at the same time, I'm trying to give that back. So I think it goes it's a, it's a really mutual relationship between myself and my teammates, and I think. Um, my success has kind of been their success, and when you have team success, you have personal success. Yeah, you've been sharing a lot of that success with a line mate like Raphael Lavoie. You guys have been connecting pretty good in this last little stretch here. Just what's gone into that, that connection for you guys and how you've kind of been able to build off each other's games to, to have individual success? Yeah, I mean, Raph's a, a really big body. He's got a, a great shot, and he's very smart on the ice. I mean, he creates a lot of open ice with, with his size, and. Um, Espo, you know, he may not be the biggest guy on the ice, but um, he fights like a dog and um, he's always the first one in, in there on those pucks and he's on the bench and that kind of stuff. He's always pushing me and Raf to make little plays, you know, he's giving us little teaching points because he's seen the league longer than we have and um, having a veteran guy like that kind of show you the ropes a little bit helps a lot and um, I mean, I couldn't have been more happy with those two guys on my line. And individually, just what are some of the things maybe you're, you're looking to really hone in on in the second half to, to, to make your name for yourself in the pro game? I think just consistency is the biggest one. Um, obviously, as a young player, you, you know, you, coming in from junior to now, you think maybe you know, having a 90-point season, you're going to come in, have 30 goals, 30 assists, but that's not the case. Um, it's, it's a very hard league, it's all pros, it's all men that are trying to make it to the next level. So um, for myself, I think it's just a lot of, a lot of uh, just hard work and um, yeah.